she told me that the pig told her to pack up the angels and go to Tampa. I thought you said she didn't talk. She doesn't. Sign language? In a way. What do you mean in a way? When she was little, I tried to teach her sign language, but she didn't go for it. So she made up her own. She made up her own sign language? She told you that the pig told her to go to Tampa? And take the angels. And take the angels. What was supposed to happen with the angels in Tampa? Nothing. When she got there, the pig was going to tell her and the angels how to find the baby Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Baby, Jesus. There's a man, sits at a zoo, holds a panda balloon. Same day every month, and for $50,000 he can give us a new life. I'm talking about new social security number, new name, new work references, everything. I thought you were on Agent Suter's case. I am. Just pinch hit until they can find somebody else. Who's the con? Cassius Littlefield. Breaking and entering, burglary, assault, mayhem. Mayhem? Yeah, mayhem. Don't hear that much anymore. He's been behind bars more than half his life. He's a fucking idiot, professional dirtbag. Language, Barley. Sorry, sir. I forgot, car thief. Half a dozen before going in, owner here had a blue Chevy. Any personal information might indicate where he's headed? No clue. Six out of his eight last known addresses are prison, so I doubt he's going back to any of those. I put out a bulletin, Atlanta, Orlando, Nashville, Houston, Chicago. Agent D'Onofrio sent us some moo. He wants us to wrap this up in a hurry. All right, sorry, sir, what's a moo? mobile unit. You and I are hitting the road. Gonna go find Mr. Littlefield. Gonna be on the road? Yeah. It's kinda hot. Can I grab some shorts, t-shirts or something? No. If he's as dumb as you say he is, it should only take a couple days. Baby Jesus met his dangers 2,000 years ago, Jojo. And then, you know, the voice of God doesn't come through a television. Now, what are you gonna do when you get there, huh? What if the giant pig don't say anything? What if it just sits there and lets you starve to death? Jojo. Have you seen an escaped convict? Well, be on the lookout and be careful. I'm 
mean, she slept in my flower bed for three nights. I was nice enough on that first day. But I mean, Jesus on a stick here, man. I can't have me some retard in my flowers right before the breakfast rush. Paul, we're here to get information on Cassius Littlefield, an escaped convict who was spotted at your restaurant. A am I speaking some sort of foreign language, boys? That's what I've been trying to tell you. She went with him. Who went with him? The little pigtail girl. Wait, who's the girl? The special challenges girl, man. Special challenges? Oh, come on, boys. The fucking retard, man, that was talking to the pig. She went with Cassius Littlefield? Welcome to the party, gentlemen. On the third day. That's right. Okay, so she sleeps in the planter for three nights. And on the third day, you saw her get in the car with Littlefield. Bingo. Let me tell you something, too. You know that boy? Who we could he drive? <laughs> Let me tell you. Oh, 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 and guess what? The police didn't even figure out that he done hotwired that Mustang he was in till after they chased him all over the place. And that's when I saw her. Her little shoe shine box. But I guess you boys weren't looking for a white Mustang carrying a retard, huh? You did pretty good back there with Johnny Law, huh? I'm going to go as far west as the next gas stop. After that, you're going to be on your own. Got it? All right. Where are you heading? Listen, I ain't going to play no games with you. Tell me where you're heading. Speak, bitch! All right? What, you can't talk? Besides that backdoor face and barnyard odor, <laughs> that makes you a pretty perfect woman now, doesn't it? I don't suspect you have any talents as a stick-up artist. What, are you some kind of grifter? Well, I'm on the road to make some money. If you can't help me, then I don't know what to tell you. Hmm. Maybe you can't help. Only a few witnesses saw the girl. Two say blonde hair, one says red hair, and all say suspenders. What's the pig say? Where have you been? I was parking the mobile unit, and I'd get D'Onofrio coffee. Agent D'Onofrio's here? Yeah, I thought you knew. He's in the mobile unit right now. Hey, what's a bad analyst? What are you talking about? I thought he had a witness with him, and then he introduced her as a data analyst assigned to the case. She's with him? Yeah. She said something about behavioral predictive modeling. God, I just laughed. I thought she was kidding. Where'd you park the moon? A few blocks that way. That thing is a bitch to park. Let's go. What do you got on Littlefield? Nothing yet, sir. Nothing? Last known address, family? Uh, we were just... Barstow's the last known address. He'll find auto body shops for work. He's got an uncle in Little Pines and two aunts in Butte, but he won't go there. Good. You tie this up quick, Dylan. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, I've still got Agent Souter's cases and... That is not casework, Dillard. This is janitorial work. Clear this up. Quickly. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, I hate the move. Um, <clears throat> thank you. Agent Farley. Sir. You've got a new partner. <laughs> what? You're serious? You two are on Littlefield. Figure out the girl in the meantime. Wait, what girl?
Lies. I would have done better if you told me I was breaking her in. Excuse me? Wait. Joe, Joe. I love you. All right, all right. All right, Romeo, go kick some rocks. Are you shitting me? Are you a virgin? Have you ever been plowed before? What you did with that man back there in his truck, have you done that before? Oh, for crying out loud, all I got was 60 bucks. You know how much you're gonna charge for your cherry? Do you? Take that stupid box and put it in the back. Sick of looking at it. Oh, damn. You gotta change the clothes back there? Well, what's in that damn thing? What, you got butterflies in there? You got birds? You got birds in there? Wings. You got wings in there? Angel wings. Angel wings, eh? Angels. You got angels in there? Yeah, okay. Well, angels are no angels. That smells bad for business, for Christ's sakes. I mean... Hey, calm down. Hey, calm... Hey. You, you calm... What the fuck did I do? Calm the fuck down. What did I do? What did I say? Up. The clouds. Sky, more clouds. Oh, not God. God. Well, baby. Baby. Oh, hell, that looks like some cock and balls to me. What are you doing? Okay, so God, baby, uh, boy. God's baby boy. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I said Jesus Christ. I said Jesus Christ. Who gives a flying fuck? Hey! Oh! Say, say, I won't say anymore. I, I promise. All right there, Buster Keaton. Okay. All right. All right, get back over there. Hey, you mind if I introduce you to some of my friends? Cinnamon, where are you gonna run to? Cinnamon, where are you gonna run to? Cinnamon, where are you gonna run to? All on the day. Well, I run to the moon, moon, won't you hide me? Under the moon, moon, won't you hide me? Under the moon, moon, won't you hide me? All on the day. The Lord sets on a man, the moon will be a bleeding. The Lord sets on a man, the moon will be a bleeding. The Lord sets on a man, the moon will be a bleeding. All on the day. Well, I'm a run to the stars, stars, won't you hide me? Run to the stars, stars, won't you hide me? Run to the stars, stars, won't you hide me? All on that day, all on that day. Tell your field train. Why don't I do the talking? Okay. Where's your notebook? Um, I didn't get a notebook. Stock supply closet over there. Uh, maybe my phone. <clears throat> Mr. Barnhart, thank you for meeting with us. Do you know where she is? Who's that? Jojo. How can I help you? Jojo. I just need to talk to her. Jojo, yes, the girl we're looking forward to. Do you have any idea where they were headed? Did she say anything? She never said a word. And this is the man she was with, right? 
I'm sorry, is that the man from Ipswich? Sorry. I love her, I just need to find her. Let's just take a step back and go through a timeline, shall we? Timeline? I know how them astronauts feel at takeoff. When the power just overwhelms your senses. My vision went blurry. And then it was just us. Together in each other's arms and... And then, you know, right at the edge, I was gonna see a vision or, or something. And then? Nothing. Nothing? Everything. I'm sorry, but I didn't understand you. Can you help me find her? I left my wife. I haven't even told her yet, but, but I'm gonna leave her. How would you know what it's like to be in love with somebody so completely? And thus the native hue of resolution is sickly to o'er with the pale cast of to thought feel every in the prizes in your with Cause life is nothing without, without Jojo. Moment with this regard, I the currents turn awry to be loved. and lose the name of action. Is that Shakespeare? Who? So is this how it usually goes on the field? No, this is not how it usually goes in the field. They sound pretty heartbroken. Who gives a shit about them? It's just an observation. What about her, huh? Can you imagine what she's going through? He's probably going to New Orleans next. Why do you say that? He was there once in 92, just a hunch. No offense, that's not really how you work a case. Hey, so we can't play it as loose as we did back there on the road, all right? I got a few outstanding warrants here. Jojo. Jojo. Wait, stop! Hey, where are you going? Hey, what was that back there in the end? Well, where'd you get it at, huh? You get it from the government, huh? They swear you to secrecy, cut your tongue out, is that why you can't talk? Hey, let me see your tongue, let me see it. Show me what's in the box, please. Hey, look, uh, I need to know what I'm working with here, okay? We're gonna be partners, you need to tell me these things. You got a, a sound bazooka up in here and I have no idea. Hush, little baby, don't say a word.
<clears throat> no, this is not Los Angeles, all right? This is Austin, Texas. Listen, hey, keep those little cuckoo signals to a minimum, all right? Let me steer the course, okay? These dumb hicks ain't gonna know what hit them. Now, I know she ain't much to look at, but I guarantee this girl's gonna put on a show that's gonna knock these hillbillies out of their shit kickers, all right? Matter of fact, I do have an opening for tonight. Well, there you go, Bo. That's opportunity knocking. I think you need to answer that door. <laughs> Give her a chance and she's gonna be all right, you know? I was guessing this was just about the only way to stop the lies from coming out of your mouth. I don't run this joint to get hustled by two-bit liars and their silent partners. I don't know what your game is, but I get a certain feeling every time somebody's priming my pump and son, this here hillbilly is getting that feeling all the way down to my shit kickers. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Would you like a complimentary beverage? She looks like a scotch drinker, Bo. Real good stuff. Is that it? You a scotch drinker? What's that? Something to tickle your nose? Champagne. You're a champagne gal. Well, why don't I... No. No, not champagne. What's it sound like then? Dancer. Dancer. Two dancers. Of course, two dancers. Now, what kind of dancers? Dancers on the big screens, in the movie. Oh, 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 Gene Kelly. Fred Astaire. Fred Astaire and Ginger, Ginger Rogers. Rogers. I said it first. Oh, I don't know about that, boss. All right, Ty, we'll call it a tie. <laughs> Now, what about you? Who was first? Oh, I'm sorry. You wanted to... Ginger Ale! Go get her to Ginger Ale, Carl. On the rocks? Two rocks. Just two pieces of ice. You want to play here tonight? We'll see about that. Uh, I don't know what's going on. But why don't you write down the name of the last place you played? If you're planning on getting out of here alive, you better hope they've got some rave reviews. Hmm. That's all right. You can gurgle that if you want. Name, place number. Don't let him go anywhere. How hard do you think it's going to be for me to find something on your record that's going to jog your memory? They're from? Yeah, your boy here's not cooperating. See, unlike the FBI, I don't hire boys. Why don't you and me go someplace where we can handle this? Let's go. Let's go. You ever seen that guy? No. I got more than a few dozen eyewitnesses that put him in your place a few nights ago. You want to take another look? Never seen him. Maybe you should take a look at that badge. That ain't one of those faggot ass star badges. That's a real deal shield right there with a fucking eagle on top. That flies anywhere it damn well pleases. Or rip your fucking balls off with his talons. Pork is pork. Yes. Yeah, hello, this is Bo, calling from the Brandon Iron in Austin, Texas. Now, I hate to bother you, but you didn't happen to have a two-bit white trash wannabe con artist. 
service come by. Trying to peddle you some skinny little freaky ass silent girl, now did you? I did. You did? And did you let her perform? Yeah. And how'd that turn out for you? It was glorious. Please give them my regards. Who is that? Your mama. You motherfucker! Uh, you pimping her out too? You're gonna tell us exactly what I want to know or I'll fucking put your ass behind bars. You understand me? What the fuck was that sound? Tell me now! Agent Farley, calm down. Let that motherfucker go. Come put your hands on me, boy. You'll taste a long, dark night. Go outside and get some fresh air. Go outside. <sighs> you got a good cop, Mina? I'm not sure I'm a cop. We have over a hundred eyewitnesses who see her at your place. Lying to that man outside will get you seven years, no doubt. It doesn't make any sense. What happened that night in your place? I don't know. You're not going to believe me if I told you. But that little woman marched right into my club like she owned the place. And then all of a sudden, that scrawny, white trash motherfucker comes in, <laughs> asking for half the house while she plays. And then all of a sudden, she stops. She puts her ear to the, the shoeshine kit, and she opens up the kit, and she pulls out this box, like, and it's about th 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 it's like this big. And she's so scared, you know? And she opens it, and there's just the, the tiniest little creak. Like, like that box hadn't been opened in years. And there was a silence first, and then, um... And then, um... And then? Tens of thousands of horns, like all the horns that ever was, just it was powerful. The sound overwhelmed me. And then, uh, there was a um, there was a vulnerability to it, a tenderness. So then, what happened? How long did it last? A minute. An hour, a couple of days, I don't, I don't know. All of a sudden, it just stopped. And uh, she closed the little box, and it's like we all just woke up from a dream. And then she came up to me, and she kissed me on my cheek. And I gave her every dollar I had. Are you sure you got something for all these people here tonight? What the hell's it gonna sound like? What do you mean? What does that mean? All right. You're up, little lady. Take a seat, Cash. Go get them. There's your money. Well, wanted me to deliver it personally and just make sure everything goes all right. TC, thanks for coming. Uh, can I get you a drink? I'm all set. Thank you. Right. 
Well, next one's on the house. Does Bo know you're here? Nope. Are you uh, looking for anything in particular? I'm always looking for something particular. I was your friend. He ain't no friend. Mm. Well, he's still up, right? Bo must be losing his touch. Coin's still up in the air. For the first time on the Branding Iron stage, we'd like to welcome JoJo. Good to see you, Carl. Field. Can't keep doing what you're doing without getting caught. It's cash, and I ain't got no other choice. Cash. We always got other choices. Now, what do you need? I need you to stop wasting my time right now. Now, what do you really need? A man that can help a man like you. I need to get to San Diego two weeks. And I need $50,000. How much you got? Almost 16. Shows. You know, thanks. You're forgetting one other thing. What's that? You need to keep from getting arrested. Well, there's that, you know. Okay. Here's the deal. Two shows. First one in Albuquerque, second one in Phoenix. I'll give you 15 grand when you get to Albuquerque. Another 25 grand when you get to Phoenix. You're on your own with the law until you get to Phoenix. But once you get her to that show, I guarantee you safe passage to San Diego. Deal? So I need to duck the law till Phoenix? That's right. Y'all be in Albuquerque by Friday? Deal. You a coyote? No. What the hell are you? I'm an impresario. Okay. Time to go. When she got there, the pig was going to tell her and the angels how to find the baby Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> the baby Jesus. You didn't try to stop her. Are you going to try to find my girl or what? Well, we're just trying to gather the details. So gather the ones that's going to help the situation. I got to tell you, it's curious. You let her go out into the world, according to you, for the first time ever, with no money and nobody to stay with. Ain't nobody going to make her do something she don't want to do. What do you want us to do? Ask the pig these questions? I want you to find my girl. All right, she's not your girl. There is no birth certificate. There's no proof of any kind that she- I raised her, goddammit, she's my child. She is not your child. Look. We're trying to help, okay? Now, you got a, you have a wife, Yvonne, and a daughter, Shirley, right? Will she go to them? 
She never met him, and um, I don't know where they stay. Why is that? Straining order? You are a vile Help man. us understand the situation. Hmm? I was a drunk. I mean, a drunk. Finally, my wife left, took the kid. I went on a bender, and I ended up in the back of this hotel with a baby Jojo in my arms. And I never drank since. Did she say anything? Did you talk about anything that would give us any idea of what she would do after Tampa? I put my phone number in her pocket, and I told her to call me. That's the best I could do. Why didn't you go with her? You put your phone number in her pocket? Yeah. I saw that she was in uh, New Orleans on TV. Trust me, she's going to Tampa to find a pig. Find the pig. Did you give the angels your number too? What is your problem, man? We've been to Tampa. We found the pig. Yeah, we found the pig. Gary's barbecue pit. We talked to the owner who saw her there. We know who picked her up there too. What is it, Agent Moon? They were spotted in Austin. There's been an event. I'll call the Houston field office. Mr. Tucker, thank you for your time. We will notify you as soon as we have any pertinent details. I'm not going anywhere until I get an apology. I'm sorry. You didn't do anything. Who picked her up? She's with Cassius Littlefield, a convict who recently escaped from Peltier Prison in South Carolina. Here's my card. I promise to call you with an update as soon as we get to Austin. Better tell your guy to learn some manners. Thank you for your time. Sir, they have the club owner in custody. May I conduct a session, please? A session? A questioning. Agent Farley doesn't have the tact from what I've seen in order to empathize with these people. These people? The witnesses, sir. Agent Farley, come over here. Agent Farley, Ms. Wu here doesn't think that you have the uh, tact necessary to gather the information we need from our witnesses. Now that may or may not be the case, but what is indisputable is that it is taking us far too long to catch a two-bit con artist and a mute with a circus act. I attribute this mostly to your lack of teamwork. I'm gonna jump on a flight, go to Austin, check into a hotel, wash the stench of this mobile unit off my body and go to sleep. That gives you two a long ride to figure out how to work together and put this case back on track. Where am I meeting him? Austin PD. Who's the club owner? Bo Mansour. Oh, and Ms. Wu, when you question the bar owner, you'd better gather the necessary information to put this case to bed. I will. Bo, you gotta talk to me. Okay? Let's just start with a description. What were they wearing? What did they look like? Did they say anything to you? Anything. Just tell us anything. Okay, let's let's start with your name. Okay? What's your name, Bo? What's your name, Bo? I've got this. You don't have shit. Bo. What's your fucking name, Bo? Tell us your fucking name. Your name is Bo fucking Manson. Tell us your name. name. What happened? Did you even drop Bo? I'm gonna rip you out. My name is Bo Manson. Say it. Okay. Was it a box? She That's opened a box, didn't she? You're Just gonna tell end us up that in you a heard box the horns. You heard the Tell horns, me. right, Bo? There Thank were you. horns. Just Mr. Manson. You've been very helpful. Please kindly escort Mr. Mansour out so that we can continue our let's investigation. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Get up. Okay, here we go. That's just regular coffee? Yeah. 
Let's try a latte. I've tried lattes. Strings. Not horns. Strings. Fifty thousand dollars in a new life? Yeah. Panda man. He's just sitting there with a balloon. I mean, the panda man. Oh, he better be there. That's all I know. No, we're not going. To... We're not in Los Angeles yet, all right? I gotta take a leak. You sit tight. Jojo, open up the door. Jojo, open the door. It's my car. Well, it's not mine, but just open it up. No, no, we gotta go to Albuquerque. Because I said so. I don't care what them angels have to say. They don't know everything. Look, okay? I will get you to Los Angeles, I promise. But we gotta go to Albuquerque first. Jojo, listen. You listen to me and you listen good, all right? You do what I tell you to do. Now, you open up this door, I swear to... You have no idea what I'm capable of doing. Jojo, open up the door! You two are a shit show. So what's the problem? He's a gorilla. I don't even know where to begin. He's thoughtless and impulsive and... Worst of all, he's proud of it. Like that's what justice is all about. He's an animal. And he's supposed to represent the law? It's a joke. I do yoga, you know? I mean, not when I'm on a case, but... Every once in a while. Yeah, I think, I, I read, I investigate, and I do yoga. When there's time for that shit, but I'm out here on the road trying to catch a convict who's pimping out a young woman. So I'll follow his scent, I'll hunt him down like the well-trained animal I am. That might hurt some feelings along the way, but you can bet I'll do everything in my power to find this man. You can bet when I do, I'll bring him to justice. do to her. Yeah, well, I guess I did do her wrong. Hey, like, well, what the hell was I supposed to do? Shit. Damn. Jojo, please, please, I'm sorry, all right? Please, I'm sorry for what I've done done to you. Just please open this door, please. I just want to talk. I, I, I want to talk to you, please. Please. All right, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Hey, 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 listen. Oh, okay. Hey, listen. I've been treating you the way people have been treating me my whole life, and it's not right. And I just want you to know I'm sorry. All right? You want me to go to Los Angeles? Okay, okay. We'll go to Los Angeles, all right? Hey, and, and another thing. I ain't, I ain't never going to introduce you to any more of my friends back there. What? You don't want to go to Los Angeles anymore? You need more time? Okay, well, well, I, I got to get to San Diego in a week and a half. And I, if, if, if you could, I just need two stops, okay? I need Albuquerque and Phoenix. If, if you could do that just for me, I, I would really appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, you a real pal. And another thing, if it's okay, 
Do you think you could play for me in Albuquerque? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let's go. Where's that damn screwdriver? <sighs> I got a bugger. Hello there. Well, that's awfully nice of you. It's for her cash. It's for you. It's a shit ton of people out there. It's pouring cash. You want to skip out now, have me take her to Phoenix? It depends. You got 40 grand? No. 15 like we agreed on. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, about Phoenix, I was just thinking. About Phoenix. that could lead to the capture of escape con to Cassius Littlefield. I'd like to speak with the agent in charge of the investigation. Yes, I can hold. Uh, uh, hey, I know you played, okay? I, I, I know you did. I know you played for me, and I appreciate that, okay? But you and I need to start going over the specifics of what these shows are going to entail. Because I don't think it's too damn difficult for you to put on a fucking dress, okay? It's simple. You put that dress on, okay? And then you grab your little box, your little government-issued fucking sound would not, and you flip the lid, and you watch the faces melt. It's that simple. Oh, you want to go to a truck stop, huh? No. I ain't taking you no more truck stops. Kiss my fucking grits. Oh, you can pot all you want, huh? Go ahead, be a little baby back there. Back in the early 90s, this was before the three strikes and you're out legislation, there was a budget shortfall and a rise in escape attempts. I have no phone for you. Thank you. It's no fat, right? Yeah. What? Yeah, you're good. Continue. The prisons asked the Fed and the Fed asked the Bureau to help. So we created the Panda Man. And we had our informants push the story throughout the prison system. Wait a second, wouldn't that make more convicts try to escape? Yes, that's what they were hoping for. That way they would get the funding they needed and maybe not work too hard to catch the cons. So our guy is chasing a ghost that we put in the prison gossip mill 25 years ago? That's what it looks like. And we still can't catch it? You sure this is not fat? Yeah. Dillard. Yeah. Yeah. Albuquerque. Okay. Run away. Rocket Panda Man. Come on.
Do we have a deal? There was a performance at the Albuquerque Rodeo Pavilion. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, I'd rather not. Humorous. She took out her bells and she started playing them. Then, uh, she might have been a song, I don't know. We hadn't mic'd her up yet. She took out a kazoo, started playing that in the bells. After that, she took out some rubber bands, strung them around her fingers, somehow was playing the bells, the kazoo, and rubber bands all at the same time. That sounds interesting. It was charming. Did she open a box? No. Did you pay her for the performance? No. Did you pay him? Yes. How much? $15,000. For five minutes of bells, rubber bands, and a kazoo. Hey, I play a mean tambourine if you're interested. How did you come across Mr. Littlefield and JoJo? Saw him perform at the Branding Eye in Austin, Texas. Same performance? No. Can you describe that performance? No. You're going to tell us what we want to know. No, I won't. Because I can't. Now, I can help you apprehend Mr. Littlefield. I'll lead you right to him. So, do we have a deal? We have a deal. Okay. And after I hand him over, remember, the show must go on. Jojo. Wait, wait, wait. What happened? Did, did you play the third angel? Did, did, did people hear? Did they pay? Come on, let's get out of here. We gotta skedaddle. Let's uh, start from the beginning, all right? Where are you from? Back in Tampa where I picked you up? I don't know what that is, but you, you said you're going to Los Angeles, right? Okay, but why do you need to go to Los Angeles? Okay, hold on. I don't know, I don't know what that is, okay? You gotta slow down a little bit. We got a lot of road ahead in front of us, so how about you just hop in here? Yeah, we'll get it all figured out on the way. As you were saying, you were folding paper, uh, sleep, bed. You were making a bed. Well, that's a good start right there. So it was the pig. The pig on the television had told you to take the angels home to Los Angeles to help you find the baby Jesus. And the fifth angel is going to help you find the baby Jesus. Okay. And these angels only want to play when they're ready to, right? And, on, and only once. Okay. Well, do you have any idea when the fourth angel wants to play? No? Well, what the hell? I gotta see if we still have a show in Phoenix. And even if we do, how the hell are we supposed to get to it without Johnny Law trying to cut my ass up? Well, we gotta play it safe, get off the road. I don't know, get some rest? Well. No. No. I cannot. These angels, you're not gonna approve of the arrangements I made with you and my friends. Nope, can't do it. How the hell am I supposed to say no to that face? We did have a show, technically speaking. There was a show, okay? I understand it didn't work out the way that everybody intended it to, but we did have a show, okay? Not... Okay, listen, TC, I, all I need to know is if we're still good for Phoenix. 
I still believe in you, Cash. We're good to go in Phoenix. Be there in three days. Tunnel 28. I'll take good care of you. Thanks for letting me use your phone, man. Now, how the hell am I gonna get us there? Where you wanna go? I gotta go to Tunnel 28 in the Phoenix Convention Center three days from now. Well, that ain't a problem. Oh, yeah, it is. Dale, because listen, I'm a wanted man. And there's gonna be sheriff's departments everywhere. Uh, of course I know you're a wanted man, Cash. What you don't know is I'm a teamster trucker. And a teamster trucker could deliver a payload to the Pope's asshole, and God himself wouldn't even know what was there. You don't say, huh? Well, how much are you gonna send me back? I'm not doing it for money, Cash. I'm doing it for love. Okay, okay, listen up. Listen up. Now, Mr. Henning. We'll go into the storage room and give Littlefield the money and grab Jojo. That's when we take Littlefield. And hey, remember, this show must go on. Sure. Now, Agents Farley and Wu will transport Littlefield to DC. We'll follow in the morning with Jojo. Now, when he gets here. And he'll text me when he gets here. We got 50 troopers out there. We'll know when he gets here. Oh, he just texted he is here. Where? Storage room 28. How the hell did he get there? I don't know. Do you want me to text him? No, nope. god damn it. This is green. Go. Shine box. Go, go. Now move out. Come on. God damn it. Exit secure? Yeah, we just got a little field. I'll get the girl. plan. We apprehended Littlefield. Then you let a material witness in the kidnapping perform. That was part of the deal. Well, she got on stage. What did she do? She takes a little box out. And then she holds the box up and opens it. What was in the box? voice. But it wasn't coming from the box. It was coming from near the front of the stage. I couldn't tell where because the lights were in my eyes. And, and, and as I'm looking around, all of a sudden, another voice joins in from further away. And another, and, and, and another. By the end, that entire amphitheater was singing. But it wasn't a song, it was more like a, a voice. It, but it was musical. And I'm not gonna describe this well. <laughs> Just a sec, I, I am curious. When he said that, by the end, everybody was singing. Does that include you? <laughs> Agent Dillard, just after Littlefield got away and just before Jojo got away, were you in an amphitheater singing? Yes, sir. Yes, I was. How did she get away? <sighs> she 
He just walked out. Hmm. Nobody did anything. Security cameras show her getting into a car with Littlefield down near the end of the tunnel. Well, there's your bus to Los Angeles. Here's the ticket. Look, I, uh, I'm not really that good with goodbyes, but, uh, I'm really gonna miss you. No, that bus is, is for you for Los Angeles. I gotta go down to San Diego and I gotta tie up some loose ends. That's just, Jojo, hold on. Come on, we know is I'm a wanted man. This is not, this is not gonna work out, all right? You, you cannot, hey, what do you? What are you doing, Jojo? Okay, listen. Uh, Jojo, get get up. Please, get up. I, I promise. Uh, just you and me. I promise. Come on. All right. All right. Come on. Get up. Grab your box. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. All right. <laughs> you sure do like that grape soda, don't you? <laughs> yeah. I told you that grape soda's a jam, ain't it? <laughs> What? What's that? What? Well, you gotta use the restroom. All right, all right, hold on. We'll, we'll, we'll pull up over here, don't worry. Hey, Jojo! Don't forget your angels, all right? Never know. Did I end up as a panda man? Only somebody raised in prison would be dumb enough to believe this shit. I guess we all got something to believe in. I'm still gonna open up that cafe. It's gonna be cool as shit. Where the fuck is Littlefield? What's up, boss? Let me get uh, 40 on pump three. And these two grape sodas. Hey, little man, you're gonna get caught one of these days. I'm afraid getting caught. You're gonna go to jail. I'm afraid of jail neither. Well, that ain't the worst of it. You're gonna end up being alone with nothing and nobody to live for. Is that what you want? Fuck you, old man. How'd you get some more grape soda? Now I suppose I need to find a phone book so I can get the address of some stadiums, arenas, whatnot. Do you even know what you're looking for? Well, it looks like 
looks like they got some underground hideout. Watch your step here. This the place, yeah. Who do you want me to call? Everybody. What do you want to play? Tomorrow. Okie dokie, Smokey. Headphones. Earmuffs. You need some earmuffs. Okay. Every truck driver west of the Mississippi is heading to a small church on 21st and Canal. It's true. It's called the death. He's meeting me at the church. Black, right? Yeah. Great. Latte? I'm just scared. I've never been this scared to go back to jail before. I mean, other times it didn't really matter. But now it's, it's just a little different, you know? What, are you scared too? Don't be scared, you ain't gonna go to jail. I'll tell them I kidnapped you. You'll be all right. Oh, she's ready to go. She's not going to perform now? Are you afraid of the fifth angel? You and the other angels are afraid of that fifth angel. Well, what's going to happen when she comes out of that box? Better wake up in there. Put on a good show, all right? Okay, it's got you, don't worry. Show, show. All right, up you go. All right, I'm gonna create a distraction. I'm gonna go on the other side of the church. I'm gonna call your name. You come on out. Don't pay no mind what happens to me. You just let that fifth angel do her thing, okay? Good luck, Jojo. You? you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can or will use against you in court of law. Yes, sir. Get, Get off me, man. Waiting for you at the San Diego Zoo. You dipshit. Didn't you know we'd be here waiting for you? Yeah. Yeah. Girl, something else, huh? Well, you expect me to believe 
You sacrifice yourself for her? Or maybe I just know where I belong. in those boxes. How would I know? Hey. Why are you doing this? Cause I'm the fucking panda man. You know, you never should let her in in the first place. Well, I wasn't going to just leave her out on the street. You know I will. Marcus, I tried calling the shelter and the phones are still down. I don't care about a shelter. Well, Isaiah likes her. You got about as much sense as him in all this. <laughs> you got any friends who live here? You got any family anywhere? I'll give him a call. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Hey, you. Hey, that little Bronco. Hey. <laughs> Marcus, what's going on? Shirley? Daddy? There's a two-year program I've been accepted into. But we, um, we still have to figure out when I can start. So Tucker, would you like a drink? Water would be fine. You sure you don't want a drink? Marcus. So Tucker. Samson. Samson. You can understand my concern here. Yeah, man. I understand your concern. Daddy, you, um... Baby, please. What else am I supposed to call him? Call me Samson. Uh, you, uh, you still playing that old guitar? <laughs> I'm only for myself these days. Well, you look like you're doing good. Oh, I still got my demons. Shirley, I'm so sorry. And I'm really happy that you're doing okay. That's appreciated, but you know. I know. We'll be out of here in a minute. What did she say? She wants to give the baby something. What do you want to give him? Uh. 
We can't accept that. Wait, hold on a second there. You can debate amongst yourselves. But I've never known her to do anything that she didn't want to do. Um, well, it's late, so I think you guys can just at least stay the night. Please. All right. We'll do that. Thank you. Good morning. You're leaving. Do you know where you're going? Okay. I'm not going back there. I'll figure something out. Play my music. You think I'll ever see you again? You leaving soon? Yeah. Well, would you like some coffee before you go? Thank you. Hey, you. Hey, you. Hey, you. Uh, boop, 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 boop. I don't know.